Hello, everyone. <laughs> fuck again. Enough of that right at the start. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very casual conversation. Not the the, the usual Vox casual co- A round table discussion with myself, Captain Privilege of the Fox Chronicles. Troll with them all. Hello. Say hi, Troll. Hello, one Sweet. Away. And the one and only Science with Steph, or Steph with Science. Hello. Which, which do you prefer? Which is the... Uh, the channel's called Science with Steph, but you can just call me Steph. <laughs> That's ideal, then. Uh, yeah. Up. The intent of today's uh, meeting is literally just to get to know each other a little better. To, uh, Sounds put... very official. I don't know yes, how this is a casual conversation. I hereby uh, call uh, order at the first meeting. This is the first meeting of uh, the minds to take over the YouTube algorithm and the Scottish content scene. Yes. Uh, and uh, in order to do so, we must take over your mind and get a, 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 a good deep dive into Steph's mind here. Find out uh, the basics, like, who are you? What are you all about? Want me to yeah. check? <laughs> all right. <laughs> so that was well, that, yeah. I'll just start at the beginning then. I was born <laughs> 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 I just thought I'd chuck the curveball and react to official and then go, who are you? What are you all <laughs> the, about? The, the whole official as <laughs> it was, cool uh, the whole uh, this feeling very official made me feel quite quite nervous about being in, in jammies, so I'm glad we... Uh, no! Glad. <laughs> like, we don't want to know what you're wearing. Don't start this already. We need to, we need to paint a picture for the audience. <laughs> oh, no. It's this picture to paint. Yeah, well, a, a lot more specific then. Uh how have you been doing? Uh, how long have you been doing YouTube? Sorry, uh, and what made you start? There's, there's a, yeah, there's a nice well, one for me. That's that is a good good question. So I've uh, nearly well, it's been nearly two years I've been making videos on YouTube, and actually the story of how I started is is kind of weird. So um, years ago, uh, when I started my postgrad degree, I signed up to this thing called <clears throat> "I'm a scientist, get me out of here." Um, which is awesome. uh, yeah, it's it's a kind of it's called STEM engagement, uh, which is basically it's like a competition where real scientists um, have live chats with kids all across the UK, um, and it's like all kind of it's a it's a big old competition. So you have sessions where you're chatting with kids, um, they're asking you questions in real time, and then outside of hours as well, you just sort of like answer as many questions as you want and the kids vote for who their favorite scientist is and then honestly it's brutal so then in the second week one scientist every single day gets voted off um and oh, the I last... thought you were about to say they got made to eat some sliced or something <laughs> for a second <laughs> like, oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> and it's recorded and you have to no and uh yeah so you get voted off and then the the winner uh of each kind of like um group wins uh, 500 pounds to spend on doing STEM engagement. So I signed up to that back in 2013 or something, never heard back from them. And then, uh, yeah, two years ago, so in 2018, got a random message from one of the people who run it saying, oh, we're doing a topic on the environment. And that's that's what I do. I just sort of renewables and um, climate and renewables. They were like, would you like to be one of our scientists? And I was like, uh, well, I'm not a scientist anymore. I work in, I, I, well, I kind of work in research, but I, I don't work for a university, but sign me up. So I did it. Yeah, I what's won. a scientist? All a scientist. Oh, sorry, you won. Well, I'm coming I, over. I did. The good part. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, I, I, that's what I think. And I'm, I don't know, one of, my, one of my things for my channel is anyone can be a scientist, you know, um, if you're just interested in how things work, then as far as I'm concerned, you're a scientist. So I won that money and I didn't know what to do with it. I was thinking maybe I could like just donate it to a school or get something to to do at schools. And I was like, that seems like, I don't know, not really my bag. So I used the money to buy a camera and microphone and decided to start a YouTube channel um, that kind of taught science in a kind of fun way, engaging way, rather than specifically through schools. Uh, So I first of all tried to do a video every week, but I've been recently doing kind of two videos a month, um, aiming to sort of 
increase the science capital for people who are not interested in science at all. So, so that's my my story so far. I mean, you can you can just say it, all right? Like school sucks. It's okay. We all agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's awesome. That that troll that wins the origin story. Your origin story sucks compared to that, mate. I'm yeah, sorry. it's much better. I didn't win any competitions. Yet. I just went. <laughs> people know no money. Good, me do. Me teach. So, yeah. <laughs> you actually, like, oh man, that is that's brilliant yeah. uh, on so many levels. So, uh, that's such a weird thing as well with the competition. Like, I'm a I, I'm a scientist. Get me out of here. But it's a popularity contest. But Thank I suppose is. Yeah. I suppose the only real way to advance science in the eyes of kids who who know do science so good is probably to get the most likable person there yeah absolutely yeah. or, or like, I, like you're saying making it more entertaining and they're going to vote for who is more entertaining hopefully and not just some shallow kind of nonsense yeah. that's I, it's like an interesting I, way of going about it anyway opinion that um people don't people don't dislike maths they dislike maths teachers because <laughs> math yes. teachers are the worst people. <laughs> so I have a horror who... story with that, straight yeah. up. Like, <laughs> six, yeah. seven books thick, front and back, full. Note jotters, homework jotters, and, uh, uh, and, and, and school jotters. Weighed a fucking ton. Just mm-hmm. the, the maths books alone for one year. The next teacher I got, done it in uh, two and a half books. And that was one half used book for my class, one half used book for notes, and one, not even a, a, a third day of book, barely for homework for the entire year. And I aced it the second time round. I understood it all the second time round. And although he was quite, um, he was one of those awkward teachers that everyone liked to make fun of because he had one of those voices, but he was great. He was engaging. Yeah. He actually looked excited yeah. when he was talking about what he was talking about. So it got you in. Yeah. I mean, I hate maths and I'm still crap at it, but. He, he made me sit and go, no, right, hold on, there's a way you can do this. Yeah. Your mind's operating on a, a, on a frequency that's making it a lot harder. And I think that's that, that's the key with a lot of things. I find that people link missing gaps in their mind, right, to, to, to solve problems. Mm-hmm. And it, it's, oh, it's, it's the easiest solution. It's the obvious solution. And that's where we get that sort of gap in knowledge for me anyway. And that's where it's like entertaining to see what the type of stuff you're talking about doing and that's where you stood it to me just to for the the listeners out there i was rattling the cage of the empty cage of the great scotland discord yeah so i was posting out some <laughs> default kind of topics just trying to think, like look is there anything that we can all relate on and of course steph just put her own topic in educational well, why wouldn't you? Yes. <laughs> Especially, like, that's your whole genre. Like, Absolutely. fair does, you know? Anybody else well, could have seen that and maybe thought, oh, you snarky, but I was like, no, not fair point, yeah. No one sees <laughs> educational as an entertainment, but you fucking should, because there's plenty out there for that type of thing, you know? Yeah, you should, Absolutely. You should never yeah. stop learning. That's that's my opinion. See, when you stop learning, life just gets really dull and boring, and it's, it's, it's shite. In all honesty, uh-huh. if you can keep learning and training and finding new stuff out, it's it's interesting. It's not dull. Yeah. So, so a sidebar, uh, Animal Crossing came out yesterday. Mm-hmm. Have either of you played Animal Crossing? I <laughs> no. have played Animal Crossing. <laughs> That's amazing, though. I have not Man, got this one yet. It's, it's on just, my list. I forgot you were saying it's you were into that. Wonderful. Yeah. It's just oh, wonderful. Yeah. It's just wonderful. It's just the cutest game. It's so but whimsical. <laughs> It is, and so I've never, I've never played it before. But um, my boyfriend very much said it, the way he describes it is Animal Crossing is Steffi Bait. <laughs> so <laughs> fair enough, right? Okay, I I must get this game. And uh, there's this little owl dude who like starts a museum, and he just has so many facts about all the different animals <laughs> you collect. Oh wow! This guy, he's my jam. I am like that's entertaining oh. as well. Yeah, that's the point. Like you're actually it's learning just... a bunch of stuff. Totally. It, it is, and it's like it's a cute wee game, and you're just you're just chilling, and he's like got this little excited face, and he's like, "Do you want to know about this fish?" And I'm like, "Tell me more." <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. uh, I've actually just been watching a <clears throat> anime, not uh, not a cartoon. Okay, nice. uh, it's called Doctor Stone. 
Oh uh, my goodness. It's been really interesting because basically they it's... all get turned to stone and they get washed away for like thousands of years. They're pretty much all just kind of statues. And then however many hundreds of thousands of years goes by, they wake up. But the first one to wake up that we see anyway is the Brainiac scientist. Thank you. Who is absolutely <laughs> determined so that he's going to so rebuild good. humanity in the name of science yep. and in a scientific society. It's and phenomenal. It's, oh, it's I mean, it's maybe not as educational as, as, as what you're talking about because it's every other episode he's just going into making a compound for something and how can we make this for that? And, you know, oh, we can use the alcohol for that, yep. but we need to make alcohol for grapes or just basic it's kind of stuff but amazing. it's really interesting it is so spot on as well they look they do like plans like we're gonna he make makes this. gunpowder at one point and there is a an actual <laughs> now one in kids yeah it, <laughs> it, it does gunpowder. Like, at the, the is it, oh, wow at the start of every Anarchist single episode good, it's good like the uh, it literally it goes the, the recipes in this are real please don't try this at home you're like holy shit this is brilliant <laughs> it's phenomenal but it's like they, they make I, I don't know how far you're in it so i don't want to spoil stuff but they make some pretty pretty intricate yeah. fucking stuff later on you're like what and you're like no that's you could do that that is all you could actually you could make this shit like it's, well i mean it's that's so that, that, that leads to one of a good uh, sort of questions like who do you watch like what's your sort of inspirations um entertainment wise or was there anybody that was a kind of driving force to making you want to make edu uh, educational content uh yeah so <clears throat> i'm a big consumer of youtube especially um and I cut out quite a lot of the stuff that I watch is um, film kind of theories and like okay. Disney and Harry Potter and stuff. But I also okay, watch. Okay, theory. I love that channel. I <laughs> <laughs> I, do you know what? Like, I love the channel, but like, I hate Matt Pat. I, I just think he's. <laughs> It's good. The catch the Oh, I'm just like, oh, it's your voice is so bad. annoying. Yeah. Even when he's being honest with you, you're not sure if he's being honest with you. Well, well no. hey guys, I'm on the sofa, so I'm being honest right now. Oh no, and some of the series he's pulled together are so tenuous. Like I really yeah. love the the spat. It was a spat, but the, the slight. Uh, miffening, we should call it, between him and PewDiePie, where he put out his theory as to why Pud's done so well, because he was moving country for country, and actually uh, that was uh, like tripping out the algorithm, because he was setting his fucking home place and becoming huge in each country that he moved to, Ken. But uh, then Pud's obviously came fired back, and I don't think it was just that. You know? Exactly, yeah. Let's yeah. pick him apart. Let's pick his science apart. <laughs> I think he... The thing is, his, his stuff's a lot more just conjecture-based kind of stuff. He's For more so sure. talking deep dive kind of stuff, like uh, picking the movies apart or picking like plot holes uh, apart kind of stuff and Easter yeah. eggs and stuff. And and uh, some sort of some some of the channels I watch kind of go into the old kind of inspirations and the lore of where things came from and stuff. And I love the kind of learning the history of like where this came from and stuff and and also like in terms of the sciencey people i watch um i mean there's a whole number of people that you can watch but um you know like kyle hill because science you know those sort mm -hmm. of channels that kind of do the pop culture stuff and uh teach through that i absolutely love that shit man like i like i eat it up um and then i kind of thought oh like you know nobody does the the two where like i i love kind of like 10 year old girl stuff so like disney disney princesses harry potter that sort of stuff mm -hmm. so nobody does that niche where there's kind of disney and harry potter and stuff that like young people well am i young no i'm not young um young people <laughs> like and i'm making it sciencey you know so i'm not young i'm not young Listen, if we want to fucking born, if we want to born in the nineties. We're all considered boomers by someday, so I don't know what about it. <laughs> got a boomer over but, here. Uh, no, I mean that's really interesting because, like, I think you've caught and done a, a, a right area because it's something that kids are kind of universally drawn to. Is that pop culture up for kids? Obviously, your Disney, your your cartoon kind of stuff. Your your kids based sort of fantasy. I don't think like quite kids based kind of sort of fantasy, but. You get the idea. Young young adult, young teen, mm -hmm. what do they call it? Um, I, I, I used to, 
I was all about that kind of stuff. Sci-fi for me, just especially. But the second it starts uh, getting... I don't want to say the second it gets too deep into the lore, but the second it starts getting whole pokey, mm. you know, you're like, no, nah, come on now, we're going to have to suspend disbelief at some point here. However, what you do is quite interesting, is bridge the gap between that. Okay. It's quite like if someone was to sit and nitpick something, you go, well, here's how it could happen. Yeah. Like with your, your Harry Potter basilisk. I like that. I thought that was really funny. Uh, well, the reason that video came about was um, I'm I'm actually in a couple of servers of, of hyper nerds who like nitpick every single little thing in each story and say, oh, how wow. could this happen? And uh, I was actually just having a conversation with one of them and it just hit me there. I was like, actually, you know, if, if the light was polarized and if that was a difference, then that's like a scientific explanation as to this thing that people always complain about. And I thought, oh, that, yeah. that's a video. That's a video right there. Can I be an absolute pain in the arse and pause this for just two seconds? Apparently, I've got bullets running about like fucking crazy outside. Oh, I think they're chasing somebody, but it's got the messy panic. Can I mean, just two seconds, guys. <laughs> Fun. Uh, yeah, so you mentioned at the very start, you can do research and stuff in your job. <clears throat> um, how's that? What kind of research is it you do? If you're allowed to, obviously, disclose it. <clears throat> So I, sorry. <coughs> um, so <I'm> actually, like... <laughs> coronavirus. That yeah, is. I yeah. So I work for um, a research and testing company that work in offshore renewable energy. So that's ah. offshore wind, wave, and tidal. Mm -hmm. Um, and my job is called innovation manager, but nobody knows what an innovation manager is. And yep. um, <laughs> basically, I kind of <laughs> um do like emerging in kind of new technologies and finding ways for them to enter into the offshore mostly offshore wind market okay. so things like <clears throat> um satellite technologies and big data and um data analytics and robotics and stuff and find ways for them to access the market or prove their device or test their device and that sort of stuff. That's mostly what I do. That sounds pretty interesting. Right oh, hey, guys, I'm really sorry about that. No, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. Some young kid, uh, Stephen, running, yes. getting chased by the police, but he's got his silk coat and basically our house is done a right wee tight back alley, so there's nowhere for him to go. Oh. <laughs> so the police have just come <laughs> beef ends of the corner running and she's sitting there like, there's police surrounding our house. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, well, there's no so after us, we've not done fuck all. <laughs> Well, look at all. She's like, but they're everywhere. Oh, Actually, <laughs> I come through, I just see them calling in some poor young boy. Oh, fucking sorry. Both of us are like, pal, oh. sorry. Jeez, oh. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm well, not, see, nine times out of ten, I'd be like, just keep rolling. It's fine. But I thought I'd better go see what that is. Just in case yeah. you get swatted fine. in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this would be worth keeping. I don't know if we just cut out any DDR if there was any in between that. No, no, I just add, uh, while you disappear, I just asked Steph uh, what she does for her job. Uh, she basically, she's a head of innovation she deals in, which is great. I just imagine Andrew going, yeah, your job's innovation. It's like, what's that? I don't know, innovate it, mate, it's fine. Do whatever, catch you later. It's like, all right, does it sound? <laughs> You can joke, but that's essentially what it is. <laughs> I love it. We were just talking about that earlier on, way to get a podcast on the go. Hey, people that come up with job titles and job excuses for jobs, yeah. <laughs> entire departments of things that don't actually really matter or need to exist, but somehow yeah. still justify their entire existence. Yeah, you need uh, to. Yeah. People, people need to work, quote unquote. <laughs> well, like in World War Two, where they were making folk push buttons that lit up. Yeah, in factories, nothing. Yeah, so they like, had a job. Right. Is that a myth? Ooh. Let's find out. And I've killed it. Brilliant. It's gone. It's <laughs> Dead. So, um, uh, yeah. well, what other sort of influences? You're saying you, you're looking at uh, those guys on YouTube then now, but what, what what is your go to sort of chill out inspiration to? Is it just Animal Crossing? Is there any crappy TV shows or Netflix you're, you're wound into or do you just go back to some of the classics and the Harry Potters and stuff? Oh, that's a good More of a question. reader? Uh, I, uh, well, I, I, I do read quite a bit, but I, do you know what? I never got past the young adult fiction. Like, mm. 
grown up books are too much for me. Um, oh, wow. But in terms of, in terms of just like shite I watch to relax, um, I uh, just I love kind of comedies. So like your Brooklyn Nine Nines and your very good classic. Um, yeah, and uh, oh, do you know what I've been really getting into recently? And it's the Lemmy Show. Oh, ah, Lemmy classic. is phenomenal. Oh, classic. My, like, um, <laughs> my favourite skit is the... Uh, <laughs> Put it in your mouth, Margaret. Put it in your <laughs> mouth. That's your nephew. That's your nephew, Margaret. Call me a cow. <laughs> <laughs> that, so but the worst funny. of that stuff is like as as unrelatable that might be to somebody who's not seen the Levy show. If you've seen any other high street in Scotland at some point or that video of that woman, like, imagine shacking your cousin. Imagine <laughs> shacking your it's the same thing. <laughs> it's so it's good. perfectly nailed. It's I, like the thing is so like I it took me a while to get into it because it's such a kind of off the wall comedy, yeah. but bizarre. I, I love it. Well, I love <clears> catching <throat> it back in the day on telly. Because it was so fucking meta. It was one of the first things you see on television that was meta. I remember so sitting meta. there far too late yeah. at night and it's, it's the daft skit where he's met, met a junkie boy and the junkie boy's well, I've been a permo <laughs> trip for 20 years since high school, mate. <laughs> Look at all of them, they're laughing at me. Yeah, I'm, he, I'm t- he's smoking a junk. I'm sitting there like, Jesus, but why is he? He's talking about folk watching. Oh, don't cross the third wall. <laughs> don't yeah. break it. Phenomenal. <laughs> Fourth wall either. Just leave them all the walls up. <laughs> Uh, the thing that me, uh, me and my boyfriend are obsessed with at the moment is the uh, greetings traveller. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm annoyed at that though because mm-hmm. I, I, it's actually my dream to set up something like that on Twitch. But you, I, you would not be able to do it without people <laughs> to see it. Uh, <laughs> go left, I'm, pick up I'm, I'm an, Yeah, Having idiots who are like put troll in pocket. Like it brings me back to like the old um made the crappy like crossword puzzle type stuff they used to do at night on channel five and Aye. stuff. Aye. Late night word guessing games and shit. <laughs> what it, like what was that? So, so what good. was that? It is so good. I love it. I was like cow cow jester. It's like what but but she is her friend. Kill Jess, yeah. now she's shite, mate. She's shite. It's like, yes. <laughs> it's like, literally, it is so, it is so like Scotland and so Glasgow. You're just like, this really is, is it. Yeah. This is it. It's so good, man. I think, like, yeah. for me, um, like, a lot of folk can get a bit funny on, on folk that have made it big and kind of get a bit piffy when it comes to, like, Lemmy and some of your other bigger stars. But it's like, mate, you've got to be happy for folk at times. You know what I mean? You just got to yeah. Be who they are, but yeah. speaking of who they are, I, mean, I troll. Don't you smell my segue coming on, right? I've sure got not. some <laughs> mere questions here that, that should should hopefully um, open us up to who you are a wee bit better, Steph. All right? Okay. These are prominent questions in culture right now that need answered. Okay, we need a scientific answer here, as, as scientific as you can give us. Okay. Okay. You ready? Uh, as I'll ever be. Right. <laughs> BTS or Blackpink? Uh, I only know who BTS is. So... That's the right answer. Yeah, you done well there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> was the Titanic an insurance job? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Wow, that's not funny. Yes. All right, okay. Good. Oh, you're laughing because you know, right? Okay. Do the birds actually work for the bourgeoisie? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And that's Definitely. actually what this whole COVID thing's been about. This was it can change the batteries on the birds while we're all in the house. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is this is definitely uh, it. See, yeah. there we go. Sound. I just need that confirmed for you. Uh, it's, uh, this, it's always an inside job. Yeah. I, I mean, that's one to be a <laughs> bit redundant, but are you looking forward to the Harry Potter open world game you may or may not have heard about? Is that the uh, Pokemon Go? No, 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 no. There no, was no. a leak uh, a few years back with people who were QA testing. Um, they were apparently just walking up to folk in shopping malls somewhere in the States and going, why test this Harry Potter game out? Wow. It was an actual genuine game behind the scenes. Somebody were, like they got left alone in the room with their phone. They took a bunch of pictures. Now, the E3 getting cancelled, they've come out and said, right, well, I suppose it's all right if we say a couple of things. 
some shit's got muddled, but one of the things that go out is, yeah, they're definitely making a Harry Potter open world game. Yes! Wow. Yes! <laughs> it's like GTA 5 with wands. <laughs> I like it. I, I think, like, <laughs> honestly, Stealing that would be just so good to be able to sit and play and just chat shit about Harry Potter all day That'd and just good. make up your own things. Oh, yeah. I can't. It's too good to be true. That's it's probably going to be absolutely terrible. Yeah, this don't, try not thing. to hype it too much. Overhypes yeah. <laughs> ruins see everything. You, see, see, when you add, like, a, a, a brand onto something that is popular like usually the branded version like it's just it's just shite because they're yeah they're it's thinking it will get sold because it's harry potter rather than it being a good game yeah yeah that, and that's been my worry in the sense that you haven't seen enough if people taking a swing for something like this to me i think it's unconscionable that there's no an open world judge dread game an open world <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> game, an open world yeah. disc game, and that gets like, what? These fucking things are built yeah. for that. It's perfect. Exactly. Especially with Harry Potter, because, like, essentially, just let's see what's behind the school. Uh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> Everyone wants to be there, you know, kind of shooting spells at each other, and exactly. Sounds good. I really, like, I, I, I kind of believe that Quidditch is near an eSport. <laughs> I can't believe no one's mastered the ability to make a good Quidditch game. Because that, for me, is like all the crappy sci-fi sports you see, made up sort of sports, that it's one had potential. Top tier. In, it's on broomsticks, man. Yeah. What, what's not to love? <laughs> exactly. But, yeah, well, I think it'd be uh, a bit more pertinent to sort of sideways and to more broader discussion on content and sort of plans and type stuff. Um, obviously, I well, keep our cards a wee bit close to our chest or what have you, but we are planning on doing further collaborations in the future, at least working together and trying to help each other out. Um, me specifically trying to bring people together to find out where we, where we can um, best facilitate each other's needs. I'm trying to say things without it coming out creepy or too corporate. <laughs> And it's 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 odd for me because I'm usually trying to do one or t'other on purpose. <laughs> Every time I lean left, I'm like, oh shit, you're leaning too far left. But yeah, so like, I mean, obviously we've been discussing like TikTok and that previous and a couple of previous conversations. We've been discussing like the type of stuff you're looking at today in the future, and we've even been discussing uh, t- just this in general as a kickoff point. But if we had any more sort of thoughts on any of those things, have you been looking more into TikTok in your in your time, or have you had any time? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I'm spending a lot of time at home these days, and TikToks are not. <laughs> I home. wonder um, why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so I've I've gone from hmm, I should I should start making TikToks to I have a list of potential video ideas for TikTok. I kind of want to get a nice bank of like five to ten videos and start Sweet. kind of uploading them kind of regularly before uh mm-hmm. yeah so just you know short you know like you were saying about like short form kind of like hacks or um fact of the day like keep it still educational yeah. uh i told so i've got a much younger brother so my, my wee brother is 15 uh and like uh i saw him last weekend i think and uh I said, oh, I'm thinking of making TikTok videos. And he just looked at me. He said, if you start making TikTok videos, I'm going to disown you as a sister. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, it's cringy. Don't you dare start making cringy dance videos. <laughs> and I, was like, I was like, no, it's, it's not going to be cringy dance videos. I'm not going to be one of those old That's people on TikTok. Uh, I but... will be making science with Steph. And he was like, oh, right, okay, that's okay then. <laughs> so I, I have a 15 year old's <laughs> approval, or at least I won't be like disowned by disowned. my 15 year old brother. Yeah. So that's good. Hopefully. That's ideal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's so funny. He thinks it's cringy. He's like, You're not gonna think it's cringy if everyone's like, "Oh, is that your sister?" Oh, cool. This is ex- this is exactly it. Like if it's if it's oh, that's cool. Then that's a good response. But ha 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 ha. This person's your sister. He you no, don't. He doesn't good. want that. No, that's I'm glad that's you went with that as well. Because you, you you'd smoke about doing that, and that to me is. I, I'm a fucking raging hypocrite because I run around telling everybody they ticked off, but I still haven't went back through and picked out some of my clips. Gaming wise, it neat. <laughs> on TikTok and I was just like come on yeah, but um, yeah. I think you know uh, sorry on you go like sc- 
you were saying about like you know Scottish creators and stuff. Scottish TikTok is thriving as well. Mm -hmm. Like, because I, I don't know how the algorithm works for everyone TikTok, but I keep getting recommended like Scottish yeah. videos and on the for you page and stuff, and they're not even tagged yeah. hashtag Scottish. Yeah, mm -hmm. and oh, they're hilarious. Like, I I can be actual greeting with some of the videos. They're just so funny. Short and um, simple, but I yeah. brilliant. I mean, yeah, that's like we, we lost it something with Vine. I know a lot of folks shit on it and take the piss. I miss things so much. At the end fun. of the day, th th there's been a huge gap in the market since then. And actually, there hasn't been because TikTok has practically existed since then. It's, it's slotted just taken until now to get it's, there. Yeah. And it Scotland's is. kind of, I feel like Scotland's kind of like a, a sleeping giant in a lot of ways. We've got our fair share of comedians and actors and singers and talent. And that's just on the entertainment side. Never mind your inventors and thinkers and what have you. But what we don't seem to have had is a, a, a preparedness to be as open and integrated with today's technological, uh, social media kind of fucking based celebrity sphere. Uh, and actually utilise it to our potential. Whereas now you're seeing, like you're saying, you're seeing a you're seeing more Scottish YouTubers, you're seeing more Scottish streamers. Every time I tune into a Scottish streamer and start talking to a Scottish streamer, they're all, all they talk about is the fact that they thought they were the only Scottish streamer, but they're realising there's a hell of a lot more Scottish streamers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, tons of them. yeah, yeah. we all kind of thought we were be ourselves yeah. here, eh? Why are we talking? Let's talk. Yeah. <laughs> Collaborate yeah. and listen. And, <laughs> and you, you talk about like even on the streaming scene, but even in the educational scene, um, I just found randomly another Scottish, like a Glasgow based educator based on YouTube as well. Nice. Uh, sort of sending me a message being like, I thought I was the only one, you know, <laughs> like, let's, let's collab, let's collaborate, you know. So, um, yeah, like, you know, you, you think it and there's Scottish people making it, you know, which is really good. That's what I want to see more of in the sense of like, if we're going to have any kind of scene for people to break through from for me there has to be a kind of solid foundation at least of uh, it's not really pillars or you know people members of the community that are none of this shit but people are consistently making content and showing people how to do it yeah you know essentially yeah. just monkey see monkey do but very much like you hear that the, the plan's been laid out ahead of you the path's been laid out there's a format there for it if someone doing as simple as your crap, three videos a week, can I speak for Fault Chronicles there, folks? But, yeah. <laughs> but as simple as what we do, three times a week, can make even the slightest dent in a small sphere of creators and influencers. Then I'd be fucking happy with that, man. You know what I mean? Oh, Egg people on, just push forward yeah. and try to try to come together with something like this. Like we've been talking about hook it up and doing like some sort of like film watch along and we'll pick that apart like crappy sci-fi stuff or pitching you some sort of stuff like that and maybe even having some sort of a, 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 a scientific debate-esque kind of show well netflix but that's, that's, uh, that's netflix, not wording it great netflix have added watch parties so that makes things a lot easier yeah, what that would no be way good. yeah they, they yeah. added literally for the coronavirus <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. so that's yeah netflix party Let's, right. let's get the party on. So my first vote, <laughs> I don't see who you think of this one, is a little known, I think it's Korean film. It's, it's an Asian film. Okay. And uh, the, <laughs> the sun's going to explode so or burn out, sorry. So they attach rockets to one half of the planet, uh, dig deep enough into the core so that we won't freeze to death, and rocket the planet out of orbit on our trajectory with another solar system. <laughs> wow, that sounds amazing. Yeah, we need to watch that. It's fucking yeah. brilliant. It's, re it's dead short too. It's only like a, about an hour 20 long. Uh, but it is oh, a masterpiece. What's it called? Absolute masterpiece. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Oh, fucking save the sun or I know, flight of the sun or the, some shit. I know there was a film called Sunshine that I think the, the sun's like no, slowed that's, down and yeah, that's a whole nother. And they literally okay, have to put a bomb in it or something. It's not. <laughs> well, they needed to nuke the sun. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, just blow it back up and restart the sun. It's like, all right. That's, that's <laughs> how it works. Nice, yeah, that. <laughs> oh, dude, what did I watch? We were watching Bright last night. A Bright's weird. Man. 
oh, there's just so much shit going on in that film yeah. that doesn't need to be gone on at all. Yeah. Like, randomly at the end of the film, there's got these two secret agents who have appeared three times overall in the entire film, have looked more interesting than anyone in the film, and have done absolutely feck all. <laughs> but stand there, it's her. She has returned. I have chased her for 20 years. And that's it. That's it. And that is just, there's no need in any of this plot. I'm like, okay, right, you thank just, you. Filler. You can just imagine, like, the film. writers kind of, uh, the writers making that movie, and they're like, what if we had this, and then we had this, and then we had this, and, like, no editing whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> all <laughs> their ideas on the board. Yeah, yeah they've had everybody in the room, like, let's brainstorm, like, what if we do this, and this, and how about this, and this, and they go, yes. And then they just oh, filmed it. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. I think the more uh, the, the the more pressing uh, issue. I don't know if she's have heard this. <laughs> it's been posting, but so <clears throat> when they were making cats, uh, yeah. they decided <laughs> to make them as realistic as possible. So they all had little bum holes built into their suits. But <laughs> after having filmed said film of cats with. Hundreds of shots of cats, little buttholes waddling across screens. They've decided they didn't want the little buttholes. So they paid somebody, allegedly, to sit there and digitally remove all the buttholes. Ridiculous. And so now the story is hashtag release the butthole cut. Release the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> more, more pressing than release the Zack Snyder cut, the Batman vs. Superman or Justice League, sorry. Uh, just, yeah. Release the butthole cut. Let's get on, mate. You know, ah. Sorry, I don't know where that came in. I haven't seen it yet, but if I did want to see it the first time, I think it'd have to be butthole cut. I mean, yeah. In for a penny, in for a pound. Right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to suffer through it once, why not have, have buttholes to entertain you? I haven't seen it. I have heard multiple reviews basically saying that it's shit. Um, apparently, from what I've heard, Cats was initially made by, I think it's Andrew Lloyd Webber, and he literally just made it so that he could display people's dancing abilities. That was it. Yeah, it's like he made really it off the book, though, wasn't it? It was like a, it was not like a T.S. Eliot fucking. Oh my god, what am I talking about? Absolute dork. <laughs> 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 it's good on stage. I've I've been to see yeah. cats, and oh. it's it's random, and you just along there for the ride. They're yeah. being cats on their own because stage, that's and stage, it's great. Though, eh? it's, you're you're, you're removed part of the from it. Though. That's the thing. Yeah. You're, you're there and they're in front of you and they're moving. It's like, ah, but it's on a, a, a TV or a film. You can a big like, screen. doesn't translate. It's in, no, in, I don't want to see that in HD, you know? No. Like, it's too weird. Yeah. yeah. It's bizarre. Ass. But like, um, did you ever watch uh, like High School Musical? Yes. Like that, like that? Like that? Like, <laughs> I, I, I try to describe it to people here. Yeah, and in a, in a sense, it's like, if you're on a stage... Everyone on the stage is performing to everyone in the theatre. But if you're in a film, you're performing to the direction of the camera and everyone's going to the direction of the camera. And it doesn't really matter if the camera's behind them or at the side of them. It's always going to look dead weird. And she's what I loved about High School Musical is nearly every single song finishes with them looking directly at you in a big wall of people. And I'm like, right, yeah. I can suspend disbelief that we're all burst into song. I can suspend <laughs> disbelief that we all somehow knew the exact steps and were able to jump around like fucking grease lightning. But somehow <laughs> you have managed to make grease lightning look good by comparison to High School Musical with the way you are just all dead eyes straight at the camera. <laughs> you just like massive grins perfectly in sync. <laughs> Some sort of fucking <laughs> Russian fucking Olympic swing track team is like, what the fuck? These have all been brainwashed and beat into position. That's no cool. Like, <laughs> I don't know where the hell I was going with that, but <laughs> coronavirus was but, Russia's fault. Is that where yeah. this is going? <laughs> so I think, like, what we're talking about future prospects is maybe even using this discussion as a uh, as a basis or rock to even possibly start another channel together that is literally Perhaps. just a content dump, a content hole uh, for cool stuff like this to go. Yeah. Uh, my intention is that I'll stick this up on Fox, I'll twist the other guy's nipples to get this up on uh, the unofficial official, and I'll see what I can do about trying to get this pushed up in the Discord and uh, create Scotland Discords and stuff like that. 
and we'll try and just get this type thing seen to as many, uh, be as many years as possible, just so that the rigging in here braves Zion's death for a start. Yeah. But then for a second, like I'm saying, we want to get together, do some watch through type stuff like that, have a look at your TikToks and previous videos and stuff, and see what we can come up with. See if there's any interesting discussions. If anyone's out there listening that wants to take part in such a thing, then maybe has some sciencey questions or doesn't quite believe that the Earth is flat, or I don't know, you know. Doesn't believe the Earth's flat. Okay, okay. Climate change and stuff. Like, here's your chance. Here is your chance. So one of that's Sorry, exactly it. I mean, I, I started making videos because I was like, oh, I want to make, you know, educational stuff. And I've kept on making videos because the amount of people that deny science in the world is too damn high. Oh, it's fucking ridiculous. weird, man. Actually, it's weird. Ridiculous. And yeah, if someone is a flat earther out there, come have a conversation with me. I want yes. to yeah. What about climate change denialists? It's just dangerous. Do you know what I mean? It really like, is. <laughs> Look it's at the world. It's like drinking through. and driving. It, it is like you know. I mean, I went to um, Finland uh, this year uh, on on a wee on a wee holiday, and for the first time in history, there was no snow in Helsinki. First time in mm. in history, um, and I just like you know, just look around you. People. Classic. The, no, no, come on now, don't, don't you break people, okay? <laughs> <laughs> are you implying on, that, that, that oh, yeah. millions and millions of bits of plastic and metals and shit and unrecyclable stuff that we've been shoveling off to god knows where and dumping in the sea and pumping into the, the atmosphere are you implying that that has an effect on our environment madam i, I will not stand for such can, heresy can you imagine even imagine <laughs> but yeah man, like that's what i'm looking forward to is just like being able to chop up that kind of stuff and make it a little more, um, for lack of a better word, entertaining. Because like, oh, I find your sort of stuff, it's entertaining. It's something you can watch Thanks. and understand and go, right, like, what else can I figure out, you know? Yeah. Because unfortunately, when you come across all these other type of videos, it's very much written and read out like this. Yeah. And when it's written and read out, like a white Morgan Freeman, if you're not fully paying attention, you will fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, if you're not already invested, there's no point watching. Whereas I want to find people or like, you know, find audiences that are, that would say, oh no, I hate science, I hate maths. And then kind of yeah. discover actually that they might be interested in it, you know? It's a, it's a like different one viewpoint. One of the key things. Sorry, Troll, on you go. Yeah, I think it's just, it's a, it's a different viewpoint. And I think that's the, the good thing about YouTube is anybody can watch it. And they yeah. can find out about it. And the people that are watching it have chose to watch it and have chose to spend that time on it. Yeah. Like, I always find, like, it's a it's a marketing technique where they're talking about, like, if you outline and straight up at the start who the fuck this bit piece of entertainment is aimed at and is named at, you know, like, oh, you think you're a smart ass for this or that, or you already know X, Y, Z. This plays the video for you. However, mm. if you like me, no do science so good or no understand it, <laughs> then maybe this, this is, you know, it, it's just the phraseology, I suppose, or better than that, but um, that's that's the kind of way I want to look at things now, and sort of like targeting audiences in a way that's like, right, who's this piece of content for? That is who it's trajected at. I need to concentrate my best to try and make sure that that is reaching that audience. And that's exactly the type of thing I want to do, helping and pushing with people. Because God knows it's taken me long enough to figure out how to do my own type of content. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> now I've got some sort of handle on it. I'm like, right, okay, I've got time to be able to help other people out and try and experiment. But uh, that is enough of my waffle for tonight. I think that would be a, a decent enough place to cut it. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, we shall chat again soon and come up with another absolutely another cheeky little idea but in the meantime yeah. folks um uh steph where can they find you what's your ats and links and uh, yeah it's so, and... uh, i'm most active on twitter uh so that's at sci with steph s-c-i with steph with a ph at the end um and find me on youtube which is science with steph um and yeah i mean those are the two main ones to be honest youtube and twitter awesome um, excellent 
and I suppose it would be worth shouting out if this is your first time listening, folks. Myself and Troll are two of the three members of the Unofficial Official podcast. Comes out oh. once every week. Uh, Troll uh, also has a bunch of details for his shit Certainly. that he's memorised. I'm fortunately lucky enough to be Troll with him all on absolutely every platform, um, except mm-hmm. Twitch, because they are stinky. Um, so yeah, Instagram, Troll them all, Twitter, Twitter uh, Troll them all, YouTube, Troll them all. Uh, yeah, fine there. And what's Twitch, your Twitch, red? Twitch. What's your TikTok, Steph, or are you? Oh, Not just stated on the, the official uh, account name yet. Let me open up because I, I have I made an account, but literally I ha- literally haven't posted anything, and I'm pretty sure it's science with Steph. Hang on. Cool. Um, let me just how do it me? Oh uh, no, it's it's called at Steph Scientist. There you go. There we there go. We go. So Steph keep scientist. an eye out for at Steph Scientist. For all you closet TikTokers out there, don't act like you don't have the app and sit and watch it on your toilets. Come on, we all do it. Mean, you shouldn't have your phone on the toilet, you disgusting person. <laughs> wash your hands, wash your phone. <laughs> well, yes, I am uh, Captain Privilege of the Fort Chronicles. Uh, you can catch me every Thursday night on Andy Scott's at Twitch. You can also catch me Mondays with the Unmonetizables podcast, Tuesdays with the Unofficial Official podcast, Wednesdays for some other kind of shit on the Fort Chronicles on YouTube, and Fridays uh, as Captain Jake Swallows of the Ruby Clam in Fallout 76. Yes, that's right. You heard that weird dodgy pun, but you'll have to tune in to find out exactly what it means for the next time, folks. Much obliged, and uh, go ahead. Let us know what you think in the comments. What's the question, guys? We need a we need a, a question to pin. All right, we need a call to action. People need to get involved. Oh, oh, um, oh, oh, uh, come on! I've had amazing questions. You've had very oh, good questions. Not. I will give you. That. You came prepared. Yeah. Um, yeah. As always, the the man with the plan, Captain Privilege. I um, love it, be on the spot. It's so shit. Uh, so see, see, the thing is, I'd I'd probably just go with classic coronavirus. What are your uh, isolation plans? But oh, everybody's God. fucking no. talking about coronavirus. Right. How about, how about can, this? We could do our um, we could do our like what cons- what conspiracy theories? Do you yeah, I was going to say what, but, or, I, what or what science? What 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 don't you understand? Yeah. Like, yeah. Science wise. What, what did you like? be taught at school and you're just like i don't fucking get it i just don't get it <laughs> i really uh i really struggled with one of the the, the daft flat air fans as it was like but we can only see so far away but when you stand here you can see over there i was like my head's i can't eat what shut up <laughs> yeah. i love the flat earth signs i love the there was a, a guy who literally went out his way spending tons of money to try and prove the earth was flat oh god and everything yeah. he did proved it was not flat and he just ignored yeah. it and then he was like, oh, the, the machine must be wrong. Yeah, it's, no, it's broken. It's, Let's it's pre- pretend this didn't happen. It's like, oh, you fuckwit. I thought you were going <laughs> to talk about the guy who died the other week there because he built his own homemade rocket, rocket yep. to prove. <laughs> yeah. It's sad that he anyway, died, but no, he's not a rocket scientist. He died doing something he loved. It <laughs> proves that yeah. the Earth was indeed... <laughs> <laughs> fucking flat on impact anyway right this has gone horribly wrong for an outro <laughs> folks but much applied to it the pinned comment will be uh, what you know know about science so good yeah. ask, ask Steph she knows science better than us than you you know no so good hashtag you know no yeah you know, right? no. <laughs> make no sense yeah, brain Steph explain right. <laughs> right that's genius we need to get you working on the slogan